Hey guys, welcome to Computer Made Simple. Today we're going to talk about MSATA SSDs and how to install it into a laptop. But first, what is an MSATA SSD? MSATA is a new format. Before we had the big 3.5 inch desktop hard drives and then we moved to something smaller, the laptop 2.5 inch. But that wasn't enough. So now we came out with an SSD, so a solid state drive technology, same format, but just much faster. And now we have the MSATA SSD, which is just that big. Same size, 240 gigabytes of storage space, but in a much, much smaller format called the MSATA. So let's see how we can install it into our laptop. For this particular case, we're using the Lenovo ThinkPad X220. And as before, we're going to remove the battery, make sure that the capacitors are cleared so that there is no more power in the laptop when we open it up and start playing inside, just in case we have some static dischargers to not affect or damage any of the small parts inside. To remove the keyboard, we now have to unscrew two screws. So I'm gonna get our screwdriver out, start removing these screws. Now once the screws are out, Play around with it a bit, move it in. You need to push it towards you and then push it towards the screen to make sure that it was properly unlocked. There's little tiny clips that go under the keyboard tray. Now it's important not to pull it out too fast because obviously it is attached to the board so that the data can go through. Make sure that we unplug it before we go any further. And now we'll have to remove the palm rests. So once again, here we have uh, six screws to remove, are marked by these little symbols. So once the screws are removed, we can remove the palm rest. And as before, the trackpad is attached to the board, so we'll have to be careful while removing the palm rest. As you can see for this one, it's a different type. This uses a little latch that you want to pull up before you can start pulling on the data cable. So we'll pull the latch up, as you can see. And once it's free, you can simply pull out the data cable, like so. All right, now we have access to our MSATA slot and we can start removing things that are in the way to replace the MSATA SSD hard drive. First off, we'll have to remove part of the wireless antennas. Some of the wires are in the way. Now we need to be careful because these wires are fairly fragile. So we're gonna start putting them out of the way. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to unplug the connection from the wireless card, like so and gonna pull the wires out of the way. Now the way an MSATA drive is installed is very similar to how RAM is installed into a laptop. So basically we're gonna undo the screw and the drive is gonna pop up at a 45 degree-ish angle. And this is the angle, okay, maybe in this case not 45 degrees, but it will rise up and then we have to pull it straight out as such. Now this is an older Intel 80 gig SSD and now with newer technology we're able to fit more size, more storage space into the same format. So as you can see we just want to line up the slots, there's a little notch, want to make sure that it's in properly, push it in all the way and then make sure the screw hole aligns with the screw hole on the board. I'm going to quickly reinstall the screw, you need to be careful, don't want to damage anything, don't want to pull on anything that's not supposed to be pulled, and carefully install the screw back in. Now it's important to remember, these screws are fairly small, they're easy to strip. What is a strip screw? It means that you turn the screwdriver and the screwdriver head strips so it tears little bits of metal from the screw, and that can be bad because that means you can have a hard time removing it next time. So when you tighten the screw, when it's snug, it's tight enough. I'm gonna replug 
the wireless antenna to the wireless card. Make sure that we reapply the tape so the cables don't move. Now it's important to check if your computer is compatible and if it has an MSATA slot. Usually you can just go on Google, type in the model number of your computer and just ask if there is an MSATA slot available. Sometimes not all computers have an available MSATA slot or not all of them are compatible with SSD drives. So now we'll have to reinstall the palm rest. It's important to be careful when you put the data cable back in. There's a little tab, the blue part, which is a little harder, so you can use it to push it in. Once it clicks in, we can push down the little lip and that's going to hold it in place. Now we can snap the little plastic tabs back in place. Everything is nice and tight. And we can replace the screws once we're satisfied. All right, now to put back the keyboard. Make sure the connector is facing the proper way. Line it up and press firmly until you hear the click. Now we need to remember to put the keyboard back in, we need to slide it in towards the screen and bring it back towards the palm rest. And as you can see there are little notches that will slide under the palm rest to make sure that the keyboard will remain in place. Like so. Once it is nicely in place like that, we're going to push down on the keys near the connector to make sure that the connector is firmly connected. And once we're satisfied, we're going to screw the keyboard back in. Making sure everything is nice and firm, everything's nice and tight, nothing's moving, looks like brand new, excellent. Now let's place the battery back in and let's see if the drive will boot. It's important to note that I've made a clone copy of the old SSD, so basically this is a boot drive. And as you can see, the top of the screen was a computer boots. We're going to see that the 240 gig hard drive is recognized. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day.